Several Toledo families are fighting for the children they hope to adopt. The kids are from Russia, but the country's president, Vladimir Putin, banned adoptions to the U.S. back in January. 13 ABC Washington Bureau Chief Jacqueline Pola Castro has the latest from the G20 summit in Russia. Edward spent two weeks with the Pinkelman family in Toledo, Ohio. The seven-year-old Russian orphan thought this would be his new home, but now... We don't have any updates or any status on him. Dan Pinkelman is one of the parents looking for answers about the child he was hoping to adopt before Russian President Vladimir Putin put an end to U.S. adoptions. Pinkelman isn't alone. The National Council for Adoption says about 2,000 American families were in the middle of Russian adoptions when the ban went into effect. It's a human tragedy that children live and die in orphanages around the world anyway. How much worse is this tragedy that is because of politics? Politics might be the cause, but our political leaders are the ones with the power to help lift the ban, to push President Obama to talk about the issue at this year's G20 summit here in St. Petersburg, Russia. It's heartbreaking. we got to be sure that Secretary Kerry and the president deal with this issue and tell the Russians, look, just allow these kids to have this better life, many of whom uh, are desperate to have a family that loves them. These families are putting pressure on any member of Congress who will listen, lobbying on Capitol Hill and collecting thousands of letters of support. To take it out on babies and on young children is an outrage. Uh, the Russians should never do that. Some of their own people are very upset with them, by the way. They keep working because they want to keep the issue alive, realizing as parents they might never be reunited with the Russian children they hope to adopt. I will be at peace as a parent knowing that the child that I had in my home for two and a half weeks has a family. But peace hasn't come yet because all communication between the families and Russian children has been shut down. Now the only thing left to hear is the strong voice of our lawmakers. Vice President Biden and Secretary of State John Kerry have brought up the issue of Russian adoptions in very high-level meetings without success. President Obama is here in Russia, but he's not expected to meet one-on-one -on -one with Russian President Vladimir Putin, leaving doubt about whether anything can be done soon to reverse the ban on Russian adoptions. Reporting in St. Petersburg, Russia, I'm Jacqueline Policastro. And new at 11, here's a look at what's ahead in tomorrow's editions of The Blade.